Kenny, look. We got a gold mine. 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 Well, I didn't know about the story. I'd never heard it before. And any time I can find something, look, the, 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 the script was like lived if it was complete fiction as, as a worthy story with great dynamic and a great lead character to be told. Then the fact that you find out it's based on real events is just kind of extra, extra sweetener for me because then I have, a, I have a source to go to first, which is research on the real guy, David Walsh. Well, you will see what I see. And that's money. The true story took place in the 90s, early 90s. We set gold in the late 80s because the 80s represented just abundance of wealth and lack of taste <laughs> and lack of humanity. And and here's this guy who who is not from Wall Street. He, he finds gold and, and then is suddenly a part of this world. It's just wild. <laughs> <laughs> to go from the down and out dusty bars of Reno to the jungles of Indonesia to the top floors at Wall Street is just such a dynamic place that I'm going, even that alone, if I don't know what the character does, I want to see who's going to take me to those three places. We believe you're sitting on the largest gold find of the decade. Come on, you're talking over $30 billion. Yeah! What, what does it take to become wealthy? And that kind of question is sort of juiciest in a deeply capitalistic society. <laughs> and we see the corruption and we see that the person who is the wealthiest is not necessarily the smartest or the most hardworking, that it's usually the person who is the most devious. So it is a really, it's a, it's a very relevant story and, and it feels so American. <laughs> And the only question I'm left with is, how did $17 billion disappear overnight?